So guys, here we go. We have another handle that is going to Transoya. Transoya is in Kenya, a place known as Kitale, or maybe you can call it um, Muiz Bridge, not Kitale exactly, but Kitale is the county whereby it is known as Transoya. But uh, these handles, the location where the handles are going is going to a place known as Muiz Bridge, okay? So this is the way I'm using my motorbike to transport the motorbike from my place here at Angurai to Malaba. Malaba is our small town where we catch up with all public means. They want to help me to transport this thing up to Kitale, okay? So I'm going to use a vehicle known as Easy Coach. So as of now, where I am here to Malaba, it will cost me like uh, 14 kilometers to reach to Malaba town to catch up with a vehicle to take these handles to Kitale, okay? A place known as Moose Bridge. So someone was asking hey how did you manage to tie up that thing to that motorbike of yours because it seems to be so long yeah yeah it is true it's two meters long but uh, let me show you a bit this is how the way i wrap up my rubber to make sure that it is locked there and then also it gets to rest on your footrest there at the motorbike then you come in front, you get another place whereby Nisgard, there's something by the name Nisgard, that is where we tie up our robe again to make sure that it's stronger enough. So it will hang just like that, as you can see. So for you, you just have to sit here, which is not you, it's me. I'm going to sit over here, then overlap my leg the other side for engagements of the gears for this motorbike. And as you can see, if I shake it, it is really strong, right? Yeah. So that is how the way I'm going to transport it. So the only problem that I have with this thing, I can't go with it so long, so far, because you see the indicator here, it may end up being damaged, you see. So you don't need to hit that place every now and then. You see how the indicator gets so much trouble, eh? you see. So, if this indicator handle was not a rubber, then I couldn't be able to transport the thing with a motorbike. Okay? So far, so good, so fine. Let's watch. Stick around and see how it happens. And by the way, the reason why people are taking up these handles, don't forget again, it is because we are making sure we cut off the weight of the walking tractor. You understand? Walking tractor. Make sure it doesn't trouble you while you're plowing. You feel me? Yeah, man. Keep on watching. And if you have a walking tractor, please make sure you require this. Or make, place an order because I have plenty of them. As you can see, there's another one over there getting dry. Because I painted it uh, last night. Not night. It was yesterday, exact, actually. It has been drying during the night. So it was together with this and many more in that store we have the trailer here we have the disc plow all these are just about walking tractor you understand yeah man some of you guys are asking what am i talking about when i say the handle we are cutting the weight of the walking tractor look this is the walking tractor itself okay so you see here this is the middle of the tractor so from the middle, going in front, how many kgs are we talking about? That is 155. So from here at the middle, going back, how many kgs do we have to balance the one in front? Do you understand what I'm talking about? So if you need to balance the weight from, from behind to balance the weight here, you need something heavier than this one. To make sure that you balance it properly. And that is where we come up with this idea of handles, my brother. If you are a new person to this channel, then consider subscribing to that channel. Click a notification bell. Also, click a like and also put a comment down there. You might be having one of the tractor like this one here. And you are facing the same, same challenges, the same, same problem other people are facing out there. Doesn't matter where you are. Listen to me. Make sure you reach, uh, you get, you get in touch with me through comments, 
down there at the comment section i'll put a link where you can get me through whatsapp and uh, we get to know what we are talking about the walking tractor at anyone's farm so let's see what the tractor weighs all the way from the engine okay so these are the details about the tractor itself so we have we have output 16 hp 2200 rpm don't confuse this one to this one this is the rpm the speed the speed of the engine this is the torque this is the horsepower what do we mean the energy that this engine is giving you so let's drop down net mass that is so if we are put we are changing the handles we are dealing with this one here 155 that is what we are dealing with the most to make sure that this thing it gives you a good product while you are using it at your farm 150 depending with the model it might be 18 horsepower or 18.5 or 20 horsepower 22 horsepower so the more the hp increases also the weight goes up so what do we do we deal with the handles you get what i mean all this weight you see here it only means the engine alone okay it's for the engine alone that weight you see is written there the gearbox it has its own weight and the engine has its own weight okay follow up for more click the notification bell for more videos to come about working tractor so guys we are in Malaba here at Easy Coach office we are sending the handles and the thing you saw this is the motorbike here here is the handles